warm welcome you have given me uh, since my arrival here. I know that it's like a son who has come home. And um, my father always welcomes me with both hands. Um, I bring him greeting from his daughter, Lordina. She was here recently to visit her project at the witches' camp. Uh, she says that she hopes that if NDC wins the election, Parliament has passed the anti-witchcraft bill and it is awaiting the signature of the President. And if the President signs it, she will involve herself in how to rehabilitate the women back in their communities where they come from. And so she said I should extend her regards to her father, the Gambagarana. Uh, I want to thank you, you. So, um, by the way, ne, ya bi nyong, ya bi nkuna o kala sane nyong. Tozo go zuna davran ya supe davran na wanza wante pa na kupa ya nama. So, olampo akaya ne, wanza ngo opo a, Lordi na Mahama, opo go wante gamba dema, kaya ra. Ne na nengi ko katika namne na tupo akurala nupo amama rvala hivari wanambangu nengi mbete zani ba ya kule ne parliamenta pun nengi pasi law pasi bill to president ne sign kwa na busi sign kwa amake pun sign na be teacher namne na na nengi kuni ba nambangu upo anambangu nengi nchini bete madema kavala bungu kuba tensemani kadarja biani. Today, what has brought us here is what we call the Building Ghana Tour. You know this is an election year and NDC is contesting uh, for the presidential and parliamentary. And so we are going to present a manifesto to the country. And the manifesto is a document that states what a government will do, a political party will do when it wins power and comes into government. And always before we publish that manifesto, we don't want to sit alone and write what we think the people of Ghana want. We want to go around and listen to what they actually want. And so we've gone to all the regions. Northeast is the last region we are visiting before we finalize the manifesto and then we launch it in July this year. So, ne eh take your people people ni. Thank you for voting na ma partisa to kadol ni mbosi nso bagba na gbanse zal pansi si bantia dina ma katuntum sisi anoba katudol ma. So, one gen na ma o gen region de ma za Ento ante luma madema, ento ante nadema, ento ante nachema. Kaba yele ba yoto amuksa ngonye shim. Yato amuksa ma ya jia te zalakpana buka ma ne endisi buka ma ne manifesto ma. Na yete te nasara la. Kan ma kuya lakara ka guharantum tuma ma. Wam rijin kangwa be nachema yamba bo langwa. Bangwa bo langwa la. La la tabu yato ama ya tena buka ma ne. Kanin ya te manifesto ma. Bisu ngonje nwa ujile gana za. Region P and I go over my Ojele region P and I know Karakpan la North East region Then in ya Mwa ya no zang no abram pana Wano dadama Ngo mi ya no ni Bang marbo mbe no sobra Ban sobe ni mbuku mani Na ya titi na sara la On laka be ni mpang tuma ma ngwa ya tumshi And North East region We all know is one of the new regions And so there are a lot of issues That need to be resolved with regards to being a new region. In 2020, when I came here, I gave you a hint of some of the things we intend to do. NDC's policy is that every region of this country must have a regional hospital, it must have a public university campus, it must have a sports recreation facility like a sports stadium. <laughs> Te zalpana na guamna te zalpana mwenye sehemu ya la ula. Osulala na wengine 
na we chakatije ni na amani tumshesi bani katia tumna tumama ngomu ndache na dadar wanda ni ilesin lancha na urayela neti ndc dima tinye nasara rijin zaya mala ashipti rijin zaya mala public university uraza na kwa ndi ndi tulala azama to kanayi yiku ma katirabu nye nasara tumbu nye nasara ma lala tabu ya tu ama na nye la ya tu ashe anja talasi mbe usu huni kabe tu pati mani tusugu na uwe ni niti yiku la katinye nasara lala tabu guni ashipti de ma regional hospitals ma asa ayamiani lala tabu sports stadium de ma ayamiani pa asrute sports stadium no asa ayamiani university de ma yachana Karijim pala pala maza, nini chini karijim pala ma yato amuksa, yato amuksa ma bupura, ama angwa kuna zanduli, kuma ma mimi yato apamna nimbenya ng'chana, zuko na hicho tena sara angwa zani la ayanengi. So I want to assure the northeast region and all the five other new regions that these are facilities that NDC has committed to provide when. We come into office after 7 January 2025. Nerozoko oyanza la zuna yelene kanya tabata na hiti tena sara. Nengo kala busi swa. University ma public university. Region parliament za onenga. Ashipte dema region parliament za onenga. Anyala tum endi sezala pana njia na hiti tena sara 7 January udia namla wuni ya albarka ni ya karela unya nama anyala ayanengi but there are also some projects that we were working on when we were in government before we left uh, after the 2016 uh, elections and those were important projects which this government the MPP ad administration after they came into office have abandoned and as have, you've heard me say we're going to prioritize the completion of abandoned projects. One of them, if you remember, we started, the, we, we, we built the road from Waliwali all the way to Nalirugu. And our intention was to continue it to Bumpurugu and to Nakwanduri to join the Eastern Corridor Road. Unfortunately, after we left, the road has been abandoned. We also were building the new site for the Gambaga College of Education. Immediately we left office, that project too has been abandoned. And so when we come, we'll continue the Gambaga College of Education. No. <laughs> Ani yanya tumse sungwa ya dangu pilo tuma na ite tena sara. Dome wula, wanda ya signal mno urama le e wawa le palwa inchana zana le rubun gatun wala bunkurugu neka chante ba isting corridor palela tini yangu wanda ya simene la. Halu bopa hii nengwa bintero sura ni ya ranya kwa gulgen chamba la bintero ma lamla chana ndole saku onzulu zurma asaranya simwa ya tum. Ama kanambu titi nasarama Banchana baza aaza atumani Gambaga College of Education Ya mama mpumi tintu katopu shim Mwana nda paka mpili Mpili la latabu campus ma Umama mbu changi nya Tekasa ha Nda yatunu uda masa unai changi nya Inya nimvukuswa Mwanya mwambure dada mkachanya Gambaga College of Education Bampili kanzal shima ina mkum Kumkuma nangba hai Domi, mwana chana mpili bula. Mwana mpili kala ye ya nubu ya, I'm sorry. Mwana yubu ya tengwana. Kachana miri sukuri ntete. Kaya ya tengwana, kachana nzaka. Ya nzaka ma, ubi ni chana sukuri ma. Nuzu yari chaka ntua anjake kubu ya nala. Ama amani njali kana. We also, we also will continue and finish the e-block, the community day secondary school we were building for the people of uh, Lengbinsi. We'll finish that project too. There are several other projects. Water, we're doing rural electrification. Where we reached with the rural electrification since then, this government has not added anything to it. 
and so we'll continue all those ongoing projects and we will complete them o yalana na lambiese sokola therapy le ka foundation o da mela e block la e block ma yama mamika sokol kara la second sokol kara la kura me be ni to won chana nye kan changi ban chana baza ani do soko ni anya la na yete na sara la 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 e block de ma on lab sana ne na mo yine be be ni ko meka na mo kaka kaka to pa na ngon kaka pa eh kaduna in chan lintel ba chakan ba ni we are under money to turn us around dollars are and now one of the major building blocks of our new economic policy is what i call the 24-hour economy it is it is a policy that will encourage business people manufacturers agricultural enterprises to operate 24 hours a day so that they can employ additional shifts because a lot of our young people have finished school and they cannot find work to do and so if we get the existing industries manufacturing businesses to operate round the clock so that they can produce for Ghana and also for exports then they will be able to take additional hands to work for them and a lot of our young people who currently don't have work to do will find work to do to um na bo sele won la suru na won na itu na sara ko yan ning na itu na sara ya wo mun ka ko yan 24 hour economy 24 hour economy amika bi ni nyala ba do so go na itu na sara kan 24 hour economy ma ko boru zang in chana in pese gana 24 hour economy ma nya wula to bo la gom la kan to bo la a shift dem la akutum la la Halle kabioniara ka factory demla atumna factory tumente pa kurgani kurgani wobe be parne kakule koya ayi ubolo boshoya nengi lala tabu companies demane ne factories mane ne tutumani ka sheba nento tumne asuba ndoa zanuri ka sheba chenye tumne yungu ndoa asuba inyala tuma biseba ba na sukuteng katumala kabanya tuman tumna inyala arsiki wandoa Dzo ko yai wo for our economy ma aso enye la we do do bo la so se so se wo ya dola ka arsi ki pete azu fa dem ni ka wahala ma balgen tete do mi ini a do ncantuma ka kuna ka gorki india yuri ka wahala balgen dzo ko 24 hour economy ma kan ko zangnu o tia kala habari finally all the six new regions are going to have a military barracks so that the Ghana army will be present in all the regions. Ola yale ne eh the region pala aba aba yobo maza we are mela soldier dem barracks dem ante la la tabu eh eh boni the region aba yobo maza katisa amatu soldier barracks dem ka ba beni ngurti ka so do abeni ka to ashaka ni la la nyala bu nshele won buru ne ante ti wonya nasara in addition, we're going to form joint military and police anti-armed robbery squads. And one of those squads will be here in the northeast to fight armed robbery. Ne to manya na ayi se won jeng to so ne fara to moto do man to 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 man zo ni reba. Eh babola o ya pala bun sele kam soldier dem na place la lam ntumna ba mo ya lam ma o ya bela ba unit o ya mela unit in the northeast region no ka soja de ma ne place ma nyangan la am nan tom na nan tom be palazugu nan tom be soani ka na yise ne bandwa tintilu yungu yungu la ka za nyangan mbalgantete o markania kana nemu ne pala north east region because we want you to have peace and security to be able to go about your duties o ni anyala to north east region na to marso do ka tinan to nyangan tom tutuma ka arisi ke katini and we know that our 24-hour economy policy cannot work unless there's security and safety for everybody. So, one more 24-hour economy, shaman will shaman. Kakuto ninge surdo ayi kani. The sur surdo ma kuya guhan chaka kanda ngenzani. Katinu to nyangen do an chango yungo tuma kanu kuna kada bengai. So, thank you very much once again. Zogo. Opusa pam, opusa. And I want to say Barka Dasala to all those who successfully completed 
the fast of Ramadan. Uh, Thank 